and cannot stop you. And then you ask him what you stop, what them stop you for. And then him start to get insulted. Oh, you mean when I stop you for? Yeah. Why well, know why you stop me? Because if you know, say, you have everything intact, you have the right to ask him why he stop you. He can't insult you now. And I say, you know, no, say, police this. We, we, we have to have what stop you for. I show the people them don't know them rights on the road. Greetings, my viewers and subscribers. Well, go on. Hope you're all in good. Hope you're all in great. Now, my people, we are here on the stepping razor as of July the 25th, 2024. The latest, my people. So, in this one, Muta Baruka cover a whole lot of topic. Very interesting topic that you, my friend, need to stay tuned for. So, before we get into it, you know, it's a black power movement. Drop a like and subscribe. Share to a friend or family so they can be a part of the movement. And without wasting any more time, let's jump right into it. Check out Muta Baruka officer over on the stepping racer side and she retards down below. Let's walk. Well, yeah, keep up with you going in America. I tell you, it is getting hot politically in America. And we see all Netanyahu is also in America. Kind of pleaded them case to go and kill the people them in Palestine. Say, I try to get rid of Hamas. Can't get rid of Hamas. Can't get rid of Hamas. Because the amount of youth when me see I lift up dead body of them family and all whole of family get wiped out. What you think them youth they will grow up? What kind of ideology you think they will grow up and have it at them head? When them see them whole family generation wiped out by the Israeli bombers. It's going to be terrible going to be terrible. So, the politics in America is eating up because now the, the, the Republican them have a, a, a next person to contend with. After them plan them campaign around Joe Biden, Joe Biden decides to say, all right, I'm going to give in and make a run with the vice president. So, they have to rethink them old strategy now. And she no look like she want to take it like how Joe Biden had take it soft, soft. She started to show what already. Some very hot word as a prosecutor. And you know, say she have certain things in her brain that she did well while Lego from a long time. So we're going to see how that pen out because this brother here, Donald Trump, in pick one vice president. Where did he eat him like a dose of poison? Call him all Hitler. <laughs> you can't believe that. I know, sir, if him did ever know, sir, it's not Joe Biden that I run with. I don't think he would have chosen uh, the VP the fe, fe being second. No, sir. Because the amount of people them play back and I hear the things they were say against Trump. It's unbelievable, man. The man, the man talks something against Trump that I don't know how Trump are going to manage when the peace are going to get hot and them start to come down upon not only him, but him vice president. Serious things, some, some serious things are going to go on between now and November. I will leave a party all over the place. May I tell you? Jamaica has become the party island, party capital. I want the promoter them and make some money. And I want the people them have fun meanwhile. But, you know, so some of them really gone overboard now with the, the nice business, you know, serious thing, you know. Yeah, man. In an area where people, the only thing that make nice is where them are do. And everybody gone to sleep. I suppose to sleep because when you hear them man they are play, you better know say you better go along with the party. <laughs> we are telling you that's not easy. Them not easy at all. 
And after lately, me realize eh, more and more police and citizens are in wrangling for any reason or another. More and more police. It's like a fight that go on between the citizens and the police. I don't know what kind of training I go on, but it not look proper at all. I mean, when I look at us, it's a, a whole heap of the reason is that the, 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 the car man, them and whosoever, them kind of in the wrong. But the attitude of the police towards them is not desirable. Not desirable. It's like the force. You know what I'm calling it? The Jamaica Defense Force. It, it, it's like the police become a force against the people. There must be somewhere where you can't really subdue a person without them violence of go on. Real violence. And them just a stop you. Indiscriminately. Just a stop you. For no reason at all, them a stop you. When you ask them, where them a stop you for? Them take it like as an insult. When you ask them that for police attack, where you attack, where me a stop you for? I mean, if you know, say, your car is in order and a police draw you down on the road, you're not know, speed, you're licensed up to date and all them things there. And a police stop you. And you ask him why he stop you. You have the right to ask him that. No, no, no police is supposed to say, oh, you mean what me, me I stop you for? A joke business that. And them things get people ignorant. And furthermore, if them attend to one car on the road, especially on the highway, them stop a car on the road and I check him. And then the next police stop a next car. Them not supposed to stop more than one car, you know. I want to know that, you know, the police is supposed If a police attend to a car and you are drive past, you have the authority and the right to just drive. If not supposed to stop, stop you. Because I attend to somebody else. I don't know how these things work out, so. Oh, a policeman cannot stop you and they ask him what you stop, what them stop you for. And then start to get insulted. Oh, you mean when I stop you for? Yeah, why well, know why you stop me? Because if you know, say you have everything intact, you have the right to ask him why I stop you. Him can't insult you now. And I say, you know, no, say a police this way, we have to have me stop you for. I show the people, them don't know them rights on the road. See your thing, and I try to start to know it. Yeah, man, I try to start to know it. That when certain things happen, you have the right to sue the police force, no matter what. Serious thing I go on. Rising star, you know, the other day, them name out some ones who them think I carry the, the reggae music. And he was one of them. He was one of them. I think them call Taros Riley too. About five them call. But, we see a whole heap of the reggae festival, them, don't keep this year. Are not, them not even advertising no more. We see one big one in England. I we know, say, um, the one in Spain, Rotterdam, we did that last year. But in America, I don't understand if it's the money I run short, if the artists are charged too much. I don't know it's what, but I will leave the reggae, reggae festival, them kind of gone underground. We have to go to some investigation and find out why is it that that is taking place. Meanwhile, we see Butcher Bantan sold out 18,000 seater in a New York. 18,000. Two nights, back to back. It's amazing. That make him the most well, we say now, the biggest draw in reggae right now, as a single artist, until the Vibes Cartel come out. <laughs> ah, it's a, I tell you, that make him the biggest draw. 
I think when it was in that stadium, it was 25,000 paid, paid customers. That is saying something. You know, stadium hold 30,000. I think them say seated, but you know, say them be on all the ground to say it's more than that. But, Buju Bantan is on him here. Yeah, man, Buju Bantan is on him here, no matter where them are say. No matter what them say. The social media thing, man, come like a whole heap of criminal they pan it. I don't even know say them are criminal. Them slander you, all sorts of slander they pan it. Some people are writing that them don't even know about. Them don't even know about. And this man, you know, when man has say this and man has say that. When you feel, say, your eight spread all over the world, you have people love will spread further than your eight. Yes. When you think, say, you eat somebody, and you feel, say, everybody eat him too. Don't worry. My go on. Still alive and well, no matter what is happening in between. And we have to defend it because it's, it's carried Jamaica far, far, far outside of Jamaica. Yeah. People are imitated like, wow. And you have some, some foreigner who never ever come at Jamaica yet. Them just listen to the music and them know for chat by all program like all this. Them listen to how me talk. I mean, I know that because them tell me when we go up foreign. Them say, why well, I cut in edge and this, the next program, uh, stepping with a teacher of talk like you know, you know. And what happened is that them get more show all over and them charge less money because these artists in a Jamaica, especially the younger one, them, when them are charged, you know, it's like them is Michael Jackson up there. <laughs> yeah. Them charge like Michael Jackson and all them people like that. And them now realize, eh, them now put 500 people in enough venue. You know, for instance, you got a New York in a SOBs. SOBs all about 250, 250 people. They might charge you like a thousand odd people all in that venue. It's a terrible thing. So it's like a whole heap of the promoter them a complain. Say the Jamaican artists them want too much money for playing at some little club. They want festival money for playing at club. And when them they the festival, they were going like at them at the headliner. So that cause a whole heap of the strain. Why them just gather and just go for them, feel them reggae band them. And they just put them on the show. And then you hear, hear Jamaican people complain. So white people take with the music. White people can't take with the music, man. They may get more work to do because of them attitude. And sometimes it's really the attitude that causes it. Yeah, so we that talk about the, the movement of reggae and the artists, them, them fee and foreign acts are get more sure than the Jamaican act because sometimes the Jamaican act is not even the, the main act on the show. But they might charge more than the main act. So the whole part of the promoter them just go for them local act. And then the Jamaican act have to just see him yard. Which is very unfortunate. And then we hear so them take away the music. Them take away the music. Them not take away the music, man. Them is being practical. Them is being practical. You can't have playing a 500 seater club. Club. And I charge, charge, charge thousands of dollars. Someone has to have $10,000. Plus hotel and single room. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that still, but you have to know where you can 
star my line, I jump out of the line. You know, and if, if you used to say, you can get quite a lot of money there for a local act. You just go for the local act. So maybe that's why I will keep out them going around, go foreign, go live. And when them go foreign, go live, they will see the reality of the situation over there. So, you know, because a whole heap of the artists, they will rise up three, four years ago. You had to hear about them again. You had to hear about them again. Give thanks to those who hold on and still are on the road and be fear to themselves and to the public where they want to see them and the promoter who pay them. We need to recognize that. Yes. The money we owe cannot be paid back in time for those people who, who borrow it to pay it back. So the next generation have got paid. The next generation will never have nothing to do with the borrowing. All some people now where still don't start for school yet have got pay back this money. We we'll never have nothing to do with them. Terrible thing, terrible thing. So we said, the Prime Minister and the, as usual, Sweet Mount Nigel, I give us some sweet talk. Hmm. Sweet talk. But we don't use the sweet talk already. The sweet talk turned out to be the same thing. Can't sleep with the door open at night time. When you go into the supermarket, you have to turn with your eye. When you look on the price tag for certain things, and the, even the market now, even the market I get terrible, and them have an excuse, you know, you know. Blame it upon the hurricane. Blame it upon the hurricane, but the price is big before hurricane, you know. It's all bigger now still, but the price is big before hurricane. But, you can't complain again down the line because they never said they don't see hurricane come and mash down the place. How much billion dollars farmers lose and all them something there. And when they don't tell them about agriculture, I will talk about agro industry. But them don't want to listen to me. Free them go do it and people say, right, them a follow muta, you know, the radio say the same thing. Them don't want to listen. Agro industry is one of the things that can help to alleviate a whole heap of the problem them when hurricane come and when them call nature act, acts of nature come and rip the place. You know? We talk about even the planting and the banana them now where a whole heap of them are going to waste because you don't have a system where like myself, you have a little family scale. When my plant them blow down, and ripe and banana blow down, me hang them up, and wait till them ripe, 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 and peel them, and put them in my freezer, the freezer part of the fridge, you put them there. And in the morning, you can't make shake with it. Yeah. Beautiful light shake. We use your blender. It's almost like a breakfast in itself. You know, three bananas and some nuts. If you have nuts, you use coconut juice. But you go to the coconut yourself. Because some of them coconut things where they must sell in the supermarket. They have skim milk in it. You believe I joke me I make? Cause Jamaica people don't read label, you know. Some of them coconut milk there have skim milk in it. And the weirdest thing is that them tell you, you know, but you them know say Jamaican people now nah, listen. Them just say coconut milk. Them just say, okay, them buy it. So you have all your coconut milk where you can grate if you know uh, you mash up your finger, nail, especially the rare, rare woman them. 
You put now your blender where your man buy gear for use. And make some thick coconut milk and then use it and put nutmeg and put some cinnamon in there. And then you put the banana. If you add another fruit in there, but we are talking about the fruit them way. Would add it waste if you never did freeze them. And you make a nice shake in the morning for your breakfast. Yeah, man. That is a way to save. A whole heap of them banana that we all go to waste. And the plant them we all go to waste. We don't know how the mango them we all go to waste. You peel the banana them and cut them off of the skin. Cut them off of the, 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 the seed. And freeze them too. The cherry them will drop off of the tree. You freeze them too. Them not for waste. I mean, some of our waste still because maybe your fridge can't hold so much, and maybe your freezer can't hold so much. But if you live in a country where some people have a freezer, and everybody have freezer and fridge, when you can come together and see if those banana where people have, have, have worry about now, say, why well, would I got no banana for the next year? And I have banana till all. Eight months gone before my banana them come up again. Eight months. And my banana in the fridge. And every man in me use it. Every man in me use at least three or four ripe banana in it. And I have to put no sugar in it. When I make them shape, I have to put no sugar. And it's a powerful drink to start off your day. Yeah, we're there with you. So, we are talking about some of the things that we could have preserved. Not that it's going to serve you one year, or maybe it can. If the government did have some facility, we can incorporate these wastage, you know, storeroom like. Maybe you can go rent one, or you and a group of one can go rent a freezer. If it's a farmer where. Of wool heap of them something there. Like banana, plant, and mango, and something there. Like. If you could have get, if the government could have set up a storeroom, like where them have, where you go to Miami, it's enough of them. Where people go to store them old furniture and all them something there. Like. Where you could have freeze a storeroom, where you go and freeze things. Keep them there, and when you need it, you take it out. Because enough things freeze. And there's enough things going to waste because it's not going to freeze. You know, because even the, the coconut oil will come from Jamaica, where the coconut people them sell on a waterloo there. The other day, they don't have none because coconut get licked off a coconut tree. That shouldn't happen. That should not more coconut go, 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 no. You know, we should have coconut now. Plus, I hope people now go say, I'm here, I make coconut oil. I hope other people don't even know how coconut oil make. Because some people don't even want greater coconut. It's no problem. But you have facility that can be built to facilitate times like these. When certain things go to waste, you know, so where you can put it in a that place. You rent it, and then you go anytime you really need it, you go there for it. It's a simple thing, you know. Other countries have these things. Forward moving is progress we are dealing with. And it can work. It's like a bad out about the farmers, them lose one billion dollars in a this. How much chicken gone? How much pig gone? How much this gone, that gone, and all them something there? A whole heap could be saved if we didn't have the facility to preserve them. But it's just something else. Maybe me, I think too forward. But me do it on my yard, on my yard, it's a little yard. Little, little, little. So me can't do it, you know, so.
in my yard. Why the government can't do it in the Jamaican yard to facilitate people who are going to lose a whole heap of things? And then our community say, you know, things are going to get a little expensive. Of course, you don't get more expensive. We see people are selling okay, for $500 a dozen. $500. And that's not, that, 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 it's like them, 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 I tell you, I tell you, you know. It's like these people who are selling a reserve certain things that them know say certain things happen. So them all just bust out with it. $500 for a dozen, okay. What kind of dozen, okay, do in our part? By the time it don't boil to rot, it don't look like a dozen, okay, again. You don't see it. Five hundred dollars doesn't feel like in a Jamaica. You know, if you're a in a in America, eighteen US dollar, <laughs> eighteen US dollar. That's how much money. I got over two thousand dollar. Mango. Man, I sell one jewelry. They are eight hundred dollar. One jewelry, eight hundred dollar. Mister, they are the jewelry they find wrong. Like wow, jewelry does they find wrong. Man, I beg you for come take it up half and go take it up half and go. Most of when you come for the mango them, all the star fruit them will make nice juice. Most of me can do be eat to that. Them things that can put on. I make juice after. Yeah. So they are with you. If I was switch the subject, you know, last night we, we played back a interview we did with Chris Blackwell years ago about the ganja and the, the way forward feet. And that was before them even decriminalize it. Well, we said ganja get decriminalized in Jamaica. And we was hearing about the black, uh, the, the green gold in Jamaica where how much money can be made and what going to happen and when we see what happened, nothing. This, this medical marijuana come wipe out everything. Like I said, this is where we are dealing with. And even though medical marijuana can be found and had in a whole heap of places in Jamaica now, the ganja trade is still to be recognized, given that the American government legitimize and legalize and decriminalize ganja in a certain state. But what is it that Jamaica, or where is Jamaica in all of that? Because I'm still a lack of breath of ganja. Still a lack of breath of ganja. So, the other day we had a celebration, I don't know if it was a celebration, it's an anniversary of the Coral Gardens massacre that place in St. James. And fortunately or unfortunately, we had the Minister of National Security there. And some question was posed to him. Even myself posed some question to him. And I'm going to talk him say that it's almost done. I answer we are not talk. But we want to find out some of the things in that him say. If it had come to pass. So we decide we're going to call Sister Nanny. Sister Nanny, good afternoon. Greetings, Muta. All right. So, Sister Nanny was there, plus, what is part of Rastafari Bridging? Ancestry. No. The thing where I want to find out, the minister, Aris Chang, stand up in front of the Rasta community and say, all the way we, where we see this, so the, the breaking down of the place and the building up would be rectified in the second quarter of the year. Now the second quarter gone from April. 
Now it's May, June, July, call it August now. The, 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 the second quarter, the second quarter almost done. Have you heard anything else from the minister since that? Yes, Mota, and greetings to the listeners as well. Um, yeah. they, well, right now, at the, at the end of June, you would have had the, um, the end of the second quarter. The second, oh, yeah, right. It, at the end of April, uh, right. So, he had promised that by the end of June, the land would be handed over to the Rastafari Coral Garden Benevolent Society on behalf of the community. Um, we have been in contact with the Ministry of Culture since then, and um, they are, it seems as if they intend to hand over the land, because, you know, I cannot say, you know, until it happens, it happens, right? However, what they have been, um, the communication be- between the, the, the Benevolent Society and the Ministry of Culture has been the, the um, they are insisting that we get our house in order, which is quite clear. Um, getting the house in order in terms of um, having audited financial statements for 2023. So we have submitted those those um, statements to the Department of Cooperatives and Friendly Societies. That's the organization that um, that supervises and audit supervises the Benevolent Society and audit our accounts on an annual basis. So we have submitted those um, financial statements, and we are awaiting the um, the response of the auditors. Meanwhile, we we are required to call an annual general meeting, which we will, which we are planning for next month, right? So. After those statements are audited and we, we, um, we have this annual general meeting, then um, that is the requirement because what they want to ensure is that they hand over the land to the, an organization that is compliant. So we are, they want to ensure that we are compliant. So um, that is what we are, that's the process that we are in right now. And um, in short order, we will... We will have met those requirements, and um, let's hope now that thereafter we will, the land will be handed over to us. I'm sure the land that you're talking about, the one that was on, or the one that was... Yes, the, the, yes, the, the Albion lot, two lots in yeah. Albion, were yeah, coming yeah. to us from 2018. Um, Minister Granger announced in Parliament in 2018 that the, um, those two lots would be given to the Benevolent Society. One lot for a permanent elder care facility and the other for the office of the Benevolent Society. So the, where we had the commemoration was on the lot that is the office of the Benevolent Society. And um, it is not, we, we intend really not just to have an office, but to do, uh, we want to have a, a museum there, permanent museum, so that students and other members of the community can come to, to learn more about the Rastafari culture and the history of the movement. And um, uh, uh, more or less like a, a cultural center that we will yeah. control. So that is what we, we intend to do. And um, they, we have a temporary elder care facility at Norwood currently that the, that the government is um, assisting us with in terms of meeting the cost for running the facility. So we want to, um, as quickly as possible, move over um, to the to the to the, um, the the lot in Albion. Um, some of the caregivers are really eager and looking forward to the movement. You know, however, the buildings that are there need to be um, need some serious renovation. Um, Minister Minister Chang promised that the, that. Um, <clears throat> He was going stuff. to make sure it happened in the second quarter. Right, right, right. So, yes. Yeah, pardon? Yes, yeah, he's on tape saying it. Yes. And um, uh, as I say, they want to ensure that that um, that the, the organization to which they are handing over the land is compliant in respect of the government um, requirements. So, we have um, submitted all the documents that are necessary. And we are going to call an annual general meeting come next month. So let us hope that we will. Um, they are preparing now to hand it over to us. 
All right, we know the, we know the place is not in good standing, but how oh, the hurricane uh, and um, oh, uh, what did happen down there? No, nothing really, you know, because we had um, the, we had done some improvement on the roof of the building so that we could house that uh, museum that we had for the for the occasion, and um, yeah. the, all, all this, the the seatings um, on the roof they were intact after the um, hurricane. After the, after the hurricane, however, we had put up a tank, a thousand gallon tank, which was stolen <laughs> recently. Was what? Stolen, yes. So a thousand gallon with water in there. Yes, yes. <laughs> but um, so but what we really need is to to really seriously um have the land on our control so that we can really have security in place and somebody staying there and you know. The development that we plan, you know, to put it in in progress, you know. Do so you have any idea who could have seen that tank there? Well, you know, that those two buildings that are there, you know, they were those those buildings were um, <laughs> completely scrapped, you know. And um, so the the, the um, communities uh, that are surrounding the the, in, the Albion area. Um, are kind of um, you know, uh, oppressed Trouble communities. Era. Yes. Era. Right. So we we have no idea really. Even um, a property in front of us, they also had t- a tank on their um, on top of their building, and it, that was also stolen. And people living at the house. Yes, but apparently they they they, they, they watch closer because even our um. We we were in the, we we were clearing the land at the time when it was taken, you know. And the day the man came and did some work, and then with the following day when he came back, the tank was missing. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, yeah, we really need to, uh, as I say, secure yeah. it properly and um, market, so, uh, market. Yeah, yes, but even then. If they remove it, well, how are you going to how are you going to find it to even look to see your mark on it? No, yeah, red, gold, and green, right, round, everything. <laughs> what do you mean? Yes, you know, the thing is that yeah, that's our society, you know, that's our society, and as I say, yeah. the buildings that were there before us, before we um, we earmarked, oh, yeah. it, yes, they 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 were totally scrapped. Only just mm. the concrete remains, you know. The frame, the frame. Just the frame, nothing, yeah. roof, fixtures, everything were taken. All right, so you have to say, is that not a wait again then? It's a little wait, let's hope it's a little wait. Let us hope it's a little wait. And um, we are, as I say, we, are, we, are, we have met, uh, are in the process of meeting the requirements that they, that, that, that they have stipulated, so... Let us hope it will happen in, in short order, you know. Um, as soon as the, 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 the audits, uh, the, the, they have audited our accounts. Yes. Um, yes, then, um, because we are waiting now on, on the auditor to um, to do that. I know, so you're a big old-time accountant. You're supposed to know exactly what to do. Yes, we, we, we do our best, you know, with the, with the, oh. with the, um, with the records. And yeah. every year, we, you know, the, our accounts are audited. Of course. But, um, yeah, it's just that, um, yeah, it's a 2023 audit that they are going through now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. we're going to wait again, you know, since I hear what you have said. I'm going to listen to what you have said. Yes, 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 yes. Right, yes. right, right. right. Yes, yeah. and give thanks, Muta, for following yeah. up on this, you know. And no, man, we don't have to wait a way after, but we don't have to follow up, man. Yes, indeed. Give thanks for that. We'll you know? follow up. We'll follow up. Why the ganja thing don't reach further yet? Yes, that's that the other thing. thing that, why don't reach even, further? Um, right now, we have um, brethren in in court for possession yes. and dealing with ganja. When when there is there should be no charge for possession of ganja, and if it, they come and see you with with um with a certain quantity of ganja, it is um it is their discretion that they are using now. To say that they, that 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 we are dealing, and mm. it is just ridiculous, you know. For for, for Brastafari, I've been oppressed over the years for ganja, and they know that it is um it, they, they have not been uh, uh, 
they, they have not been given jobs generally as a community. Uh, okay. So, have have been living back, you know, we have been mm. using ganja and, and, and using it for economic purposes as well. Right. So now, 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 now they're, you know, they, 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 they're trying to draw a fine line between possession and, and dealing. Dealing, yeah. Yes, you know, because uh, uh, up, to, up to last year, our Bridgerton Legos in Montego Bay was found guilty yeah, yeah, I remember, I for remember. possession and dealing. Can you imagine? $1,000. Yeah. 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 Both charges, I think, total that. Mm. So it's still, it's still uh, you know, they still are, uh, I mean, it's just so strange how the society <laughs> behaves. Look at even the, um, the court case with the, with the, um, with, with, the with law. Yeah. And yeah, it it, t- it had to take how much years for for yeah. the parents to stick to it to get, uh, to get some amount of justice. And you know, even then, the um the the, the school the 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 administration of education still escaped the the, the um one of the one of the um charges, you yeah. know, because they 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 they, 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 they found that um the, you could um the, the parent. Um, it, it could remove the, the child and move, put, put them in another school. So all of that inconvenience, you know, yeah. and expense to go to another school. I'm you know? this, man. I'm this. It's, of course, it's craziness. Yeah. And then now it's the government. I don't understand that this time. Why this government is always on the wrong side of history as it comes on to Rasta? Them I, all the no, wrong side. I don't know. It's totally an unfortunate position they find themselves in. You know, I don't know if it is um, if it has anything to do with their um, their their policy or their view. But I really, it's a you know, from Pinnacle to Bacca Wall to yes. Coral Gardens, yes. all of their atrocities. Um, it's the same government. Yes, yes, yes. Those yes, are yes. different fears. But it's the same exactly, government. exactly. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. All well, right. this one is trying to um to make amends in some way in respect to the Coral Gardens yeah. incident. So let us let us they let they, they gave an apology of some sort, and uh, yeah. they have been assisting the elders in some you know in in some yeah. ways. Yeah. So let us see how it how it all pans out. All right, and um, I want to make an appeal to our community that um. They, they, we, we, we really need to stand firm together, you know, to 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 to, to push for the for our for, for, for our benefits and to um to stand be- behind all of the protests and the the advocacy that is being you know mm-hmm. done on behalf of the community. So, you know, I want I want I want our members to really keep 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 alert yes. and aware. And be prepared to assist at all times. And I am assisting by not forgetting. Indeed. We'll bring it up to Luther, light. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks yeah, and man. praise. All right. Yes. Give thanks, sister. All right. Yeah, man. Respect. All More right. love. That was Sister Nanny from the Rastafari Benevolent Organization that is struggling to really assist a lot of the elders them that was involved in the debacle in 1963, what them call the Coral Garden incident. All of them is still alive. And we give thanks to eh, the sister and whosoever is involved in that benevolent can really help them in a certain way, even though all of them pass away. Eh. We'll leave for them past with these elders. But we know, sir, it's perseverance, is the thing. Hello? Yeah, Mr. Baruch. Yeah, man. What kind of will you put on You know, sir, we're going to go to the boss. Come to the China, the area of all that side, you know? All right, where are you, sir? Yeah, man, man, I'm going to go to the man, man, I'm going to talk to you, you know? Okay. You look at Willie Patting? Huh? You lose all the things? No, sorry, I don't say I don't lose the mood and I tell them like. Okay. A grass you plant? Them. Huh? A, gra- a grass you plant? 
Nah, man, I'm a plant food man, but I can't tell you why I'm not a man. 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 i am not a man 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 i am Right now, I'm, I'm on that paper, I say, I rush you, look at cabbage and the character for I'm on it, man. I'm not a peer problem. The food, the food price is gone now. We have the man's kit at them right now, man. Yeah, you know, the COVID has gone around. You know, the COVID come back. You know, gone away. Yeah. <laughs> you know, gone away. But we have the remedy for them things that they've made, so normally, yeah. it's the man say bitter than noon here, and then look at it, they're not even so you don't know. Yeah, all right, sir. Money, you know? But so why you start black back? You start black back? Yeah, man, I bush me down you know, right now. I start here in a car. So I'll let me clean up the plant, some string bean, and me I cut out some. Ah. Uh, and then something that I have to care for your school, you know? All right. Yeah, man, yeah, I have to love you. Yeah, man, I left the bush, my boss, man. I six o'clock, I left bush at here in time, you know, because normally it's true. I might work, I might do it. So normally... I don't work for no one, and I still work with you, see me, so mm. I don't have no problem here. We just have put in some food, because I want to hold it for my man, I do nothing right around the country right now, no, my boss. Right now, mm. they can't feed themselves, and you have, if I dedicate yourself to watching, you have to just do what you have to do, and I watch nobody, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, that's what i say. Mm-hmm, because right now, two of my seats, but right now, my boss, him, <laughs> it's a risk for some people right now, you can't feed themselves in a car. If you look at the local city for the other year, for 400 I know. I told you. I them a bit feed right now. Uh, and right now, banana can't get planted, can't get, you don't know, no pure. The whole of them look at something where I see on the tree, one and two of them kind of blow up. But I said to him and them out there, where um, I buy the car and say them a skate on the tool, better than the rent on and plant some food right now in the car. Problem there right now, no car, great inspiration right now, kind of shake right now, I sent it. Yeah. And when you see people are left and St. Louis better come back in a girl chest up, you come by food and then city. You must know, say. We yeah. upper Manchester, me all these are from come from the city and come from the city. Yeah. Um, and them not work. Yeah. St. people and Portland people and them people they have me see put in the work. So you um, man them to just team up and do the right thing, man, and plan some food car. Right now, man, like the food price are go out and we. No, man, I'm here tell, man. Because <laughs> I tell you, run out from the market this morning, you know, me, like, me I tell you, say, if you have stone and it look like paper, you sell faster than anything. <laughs> you see me? So me I say to the man them out there right now where you say they want to do something. You better want to go do some farming right now, me then cause if you don't have the money, I don't can't feed you yourself. I don't can't get no food to feed. Cause school yeah. I want me to know, Mr. Muta. That me I tell you. School I want me to know. All right now, you, a tourist in the island far away. I will see one can feed this up. Because right now, I find a chicken at the farm where I say, what's going on? They import them characters coming out of the place. You see, Mr. Mota? Yeah, and the only on them too. I watch on a one day time, the characters spoil. Mm. Yeah, you understand? I say, because the characters can't take this on. So normally, I say, boy, general style, if I saw you look. Mm. It, it's sticky, but some people, I tell them, I tell them. Mm. Well, a long time, I tell them to go back to plant rice, you know. But a long time here, you tell them from where down in the night. Yeah, man. Them, I tell them to plant rice, that's all. See if they seed and go put in some food because that little storm I should make some people to say, we now do nothing, you know. Because right now, they are import in some whole people sitting in a farm with steam, right? Uh, I wait till the real storm come. Wait till the real storm come. Real storm come. But that storm, you know, because the food are going to miss our work. No, I tell you about the next hurricane. <laughs> yeah, but I know it's a come forward, man, because time to hot right now, Mela. Mm. Time hot away, brother. I just a while ago, rain fall and the time feels the same way, like, no yeah. rain no fall. No rain no fall, yeah. You see me, so me, I said, the man, them, the man, them, I built too much hotel and I cut down them big tree, they are letting, you see me, I just mm. threw up in a small, you know, because I kind of have one and two little sinkhole, at that kind of, see one and two little people there, daddy. Mm. You understand me, I say. So, I just one of them things, Mela, man. Man, as I respect, man. All right, sir. Blessed, man. Blessed. Yeah, man. Respect and thanks again. Blessed. Yes. I tell you, the cry of the people there is loud. Loud. This is that time again when we present African names. Something where we feel 
passionately about giving the names. So here we go, male names. Colade, Colade, K-O-L-A-D-E, Colade means bring honor home, bring honor home. Cocoa, Cocoa, K-U-K-U-A, Cocoa, K-U-K-U-A means born on Wednesday, born on Wednesday. Quasi, Quasi, K-W-E-S-I, Quasi means conquering strength, conquering strength. Kwame, K-W-A-M-I, Kwame means born on Saturday, 